let's talk crypto with design hello designers welcome back to another video we are here today to share exciting news with the crypto enthusiasts that might pave the way to bring crypto back in china so what are the details let's find out in this video on 20th February, Hong Kong's Securities and Futures Commission issued a statement outlining its plan to allow retail investors to invest in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. However, the exchanges that are licensed by the agency are allowed to do so. The key focus area of the SFC is the investor protection. So the exchanges will have to be wary of the exposure limits and the risk profiles, etc. According to the consultation paper release, the retail investors are allowed to invest top cryptocurrency assets on the exchanges that are licensed by the agency. However, these asset trading platforms or these virtual asset trading platforms must keep in mind the investor protection, which means that they have to tick boxes including risk profiles and exposure limits, etc. An array of cryptocurrency and blockchain developments are happening in Hong Kong. Just last week, Hong Kong government released its first tokenized green bond of 800 million Hong Kong dollars. The financial secretary of the Hong Kong SAR government in his budget speech of 2023-2024 said, Cyberport has established Web3 base earlier this year. I will allocate 50 million dollars to accelerate the development of the Web3 ecosystem, including organizing large-scale international seminars to enable industry and the enterprises to grasp the cutting-edge technology developments and to promote cross-sector business promotions and to organize youth workshops. He continues to say that the virtual assets is an important part of the Web3 ecosystem and the virtual asset policy statement issued last October sets out the government's goal and the policy stance on this industry. He added that the market has responded positively in the past few months and a large number of new and existing companies are locating in Hong Kong. Sharing his future plans, he said that my next step would be to lead and establish a task force on the virtual asset development, comprising of policy bureaus, financial regulators, and market participants, to submit recommendations on the sustainable and responsible development of the industry. So that's all from today's. We will keep you updated about the crypto-related stuff in our future videos as well. So do subscribe to our channel, do like, and do share our videos on social media platforms.